Hi, in this lecture, I'm going to tell you more about how you can create your own private net. When you go to the Go Ethereum wiki, you can find an option called init. In this option init, you can give geth a data deer init and the Genesis JSON file. The Genesis JSON file you need for creating the first block. It consists of a few configuration parameters. Ethereum gives you a lot of freedom creating your own private net. The only block that really needs initialization is the Genesis block. In this case, it's the block zero. Additionally to the Genesis block, you can define some configuration parameters inside. For example, you can directly allocate a balance to a certain accounts. I have copied the information from the Ethereum wiki and pasted it into a JSON file. As you can read on the documentation, you have to give the geth a data tier, which is optional and in it, and then a Genesis JSON file. If you don't give geth a data tier, it's going to write the Genesis block into the default directory. If you have already downloaded the whole blockchain, which is currently around 15 gigabytes, and you initialize a new testnet with a Genesis block, geth will directly write into the data tier and render it useless. It's going to be destroyed. So please, whenever you're going to initialize your own private network, go and give geth a data tier parameter. I'm going to show you now how you can do that. I've opened my console and I'm going to type geth data tier and then I give it a directory which I created before and then init and then custom genesis. And then let's hope that worked. Yes, it did. It allowed that 16 megabytes cache and 16 file handles to C double point backslash Ethereum F test slash chain data. If I go to that directory, here it is. Let's run Geth. Geth runs the same way like it's on the live blockchain, just with our private testnet. It's not going to connect to any other nodes, because the Ethereum consensus algorithm doesn't let it do that. We can also open our wallet. If you run the wallet, you will see immediately that you are on a private network. Let's log into another Geth instance. And let's start a miner. Let's have a look at our accounts first. Uh, we don't have any accounts yet. Let's create an account first. I'm gonna give it a password test, one, two, three. Here we go. Let's check out the Coinbase. Yes. Okay. Let's launch. When we are mining on our private network, mining runs extremely fast because we have no difficulty yet. There is simply no other people mining on the same network. That means every ether that is going to be mined going directly into our main account. Well, that's pretty good for us. We can also do some contracts. We can create new accounts. We can send some ether around. It's all happening on our private network. Thank you for watching.